Search for Dr. Panda. Oh! Yay! <laughs> Richie, your new supermarket looks awesome. Is everything ready for the grand opening? No. Oh, what still needs to be done? Oh, I see. The bananas haven't arrived yet. Banana. Hey, what's that? Awesome! Koopa's delivered the bananas just in Yippee! time! <laughs> You're not supposed to eat the bananas, Hoopa. Richie needs them inside. <gasps> Watch out for the banana peel, Hoopa! <laughs> well done, Hoopa. That was a close one. Uh-oh. Everything's gotten all mixed up. Okay, guys, it's Dr. Panda Toto time. Yay! Can you help Richie put all the fruit back in the right place? Let's start with the apples. Hey, look, Richie's arranging the apples in a cool pattern. Do you know which color apple should be next? Red or green? Red. That's right! Red! And do you know what color the last apple should be? Green. That's right! Richie needs a green apple! Good job! The apples are all sorted! Now, what's next? Whoa! That's an impressive looking pyramid, Richie! Now you only need one more piece of fruit to finish it off. Hmm, but what kind of fruit should go at the top? A coconut? How about some grapes? What about the pineapple? Perfect! The pineapple should be on top of the pyramid. Awesome, guys! All the fruit is in the right place! Oh, and just in time for Richie's first customer! It's Olette! Hi, Olette! <coughs> Watch out for that! Uh -oh. Banana peel! <laughs> no worries, Richie! You can sell fruit salads instead! <laughs> <laughs> yee Look, guys! The doors of Richie's new supermarket have just opened! Uh... I mean, closed. Nope, open. Closed. Open. Closed. Hey, what is going on here? Hi, Richie. Something's wrong with the doors. Well, there's nothing Hoopa can't fix. <laughs> doors are fixed again. Richie can open Yay! her business. Here comes Richie's first customer. Hi there, June. Uh-oh, looks like those doors still need fixing. And so do June's glasses. No worries, June. Hoopa will be able to fix them. Of course, you need your glasses to read your shopping list. Okay, guys, it's Dr. Panda Toto time. Yay! <laughs> Can you help June find the things on her shopping list? Here's the sandwich June wants to make for lunch. Let's see what she needs to make it. Can you name all the things June needs to make her sandwich? What's this? That's right! Brown bread! And do you know what this is? Yep, it's a tomato! And what is this ingredient? Cheese! That's right! It's cheese! Let's go and find the ingredients June needs. Okay, here we need to find the brown bread. Is that the brown bread? Mm, nope, that's the white bread. You need the brown bread, mm -hmm. June. Hmm. 
Do you see the brown bread? There it is! Well done! Now, can you help June find a tomato? Yep, there it is! Only one more ingredient to go! All we need now is some cheese! That's not cheese, June! That's yogurt! Can you find the cheese for June? Yep, you got it! June's got everything she needs to make her sandwich! Uh, June, you can't pay for your groceries with a cheese cracker. <laughs> awesome! Hoop has fixed June's glasses. Now she'll be able to see properly again. Well, see you next time, June. <laughs> May May's shopping for her party this afternoon. So let's see what she needs to buy. One pineapple, two bottles of apple juice, three lollipops, four balloons, and five party hats. All done? Awesome! Now you can pay Richie at the cash register. Maybe you should check you haven't forgotten anything, Maymay. Uh-oh, your phone is out of batteries. No worries, Maymay. It's a good thing I used my memory to store your list. <laughs> It's Dr. Panda Toto time! Can you help Maymay count her groceries? Let's get started! Let's see, Maymay needs one pineapple. How many pineapples are there? That's one! One pineapple! Oh, careful, Richie! Pineapples can be prickly. Maymay needs two bottles of apple juice. Let's count how many she has. One. Hmm. Hmm. You only have one bottle of apple juice, Maymay, but you need two. Now you have two bottles. <laughs> awesome. Maymay needs three lollipops. Can you count how many she has? One. Two. Uh-oh, Maymay needs three lollipops, but she only has two. So how many lollipops is Maymay missing? You got it! Maymay needs one more lollipop. Quick as you can, Maymay. You don't want to keep the other shoppers waiting. Here we go, three lollipops. All right. Mamie needs four balloons. Let's count how many she has. One, two, three, four! Excellent! Okay, the last item on Mamie's list are the five party hats for her guests. Huh? But where are the party hats, Mamie? Oh, I get it! You've invited everyone to your party! One, two, three, four hats. Hang on, where's the fifth party hat? Oh, <laughs> looks like we can have the party right here. Yeah! Hi there, Moo. It's a pretty stormy day, huh? Ah! Oh! Whoa, that is some wind. Better grab a trolley quickly and, and get inside. Where did all the shopping trolleys go? There goes one. The wind must have scattered them all over the parking lot. We'd better warn Richie. Hey, Richie. The wind's blown all your shopping trolleys away. No worries, Richie. It's Dr. Panda Toto time. Can you help Richie find his trolleys? Awesome. Let's get started. The 
Okay, we need to find all five of Richie's supermarket trolleys. Let's take a look and see if we can spot them. Hmm, that car seems to have eight tires. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yep, one of the shopping trolleys is behind that car. Great, that's one. Now we need to find four more. Quick, Richie, follow those trolleys. The two trolleys roll behind two of those three bushes. Can you spot which bushes have a trolley behind them? That's right! The one on the middle and the one on the right! Awesome! You spotted two more! Now we only have two more to go! Moo! Can you spot another trolley? Ah, look out, Richie! Oh, there it is! That's number four! Oop. Now, where could the last trolley be? Hmm, not much to see here. Huh? What is Moose Chicken up to? <laughs> Those chickens have found the last shopping trolley. That's all five. Thanks for helping to find the five missing trolleys, guys. Give me a high five. Awesome. Now Moo can finally get all her groceries. Huh? Where did your trolley go now? <laughs> Looks like Moo's chickens are enjoying the ride. Bip, are you taking all those shopping trolleys back inside to the supermarket? Whoa! Ah! Whoa, Bip! Slow down! Richie! Richie! Are you all right? Toot, fruit toot 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 One shiny apple Fruit toot 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 Two green pears One shiny apple Fruit toot 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 Fruit toot 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 Three ripe bananas Two green pears One shiny apple Fruit toot 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 Four juicy oranges Five blue plums Six squishy strawberries in my tongue. Fruit toot 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 toot. Fruity toot 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 toot. Seven yellow lemons. Fruit toot 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 toot. Eight lovely melons. Seven yellow lemons. Fruit toot 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 toot. Fruit toot 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 toot. Nine pineapples. Eight lovely melons, seven yellow lemons, fruit toot 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 toot. Ten yummy cherries in my supermarket store, scrummy and delicious, more, more, more. <laughs> fruit toot 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 toot, fruit toot 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 toot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten supermarket. <laughs> Richie, wake up! <laughs> Welcome back, Richie. <laughs> it looks like Richie is still dreaming. What a funny, fruity dance. <laughs> Hi, Mimi! Hi, Bip! Looks like you're having fun! <laughs> Mamie, you're getting really good at jumping. Hmm. Hey, look at Bip go! 
awesome! Whoa! Mimi's gone really high in the sky! Huh? Where did Mimi go? Fly! <laughs> no, Mimi can't fly, Toto. There she is! She's up in the tree! <laughs> oh, uh oh! And it looks like she can't get down! <laughs> huh? Don't worry, Bip! Firefighter Olette will know what to do! Olette! Olette! Mimi is stuck in a tree! She needs your help! <laughs> Off she goes! Olette to the rescue! Don't worry, Bip! Olette will soon get Mimi down! Gonna get Mei down from the tree. Would you like some help deciding what to use to rescue her? No worries, Alette. It's Dr. Panda Toto time. Yeah. Can you help Alette decide what she needs to get Mei down from the tree? Okay. Here we go. Right, guys. Let's see what Alette has in her fire engine. She could use a fire extinguisher. Or a water hose. Or a ladder. Ready to pick? Which of these things do you think Olette should use? Yep, you got it! Olette needs the ladder to rescue Mei Mei. Keep the ladder steady while Olette goes to get Mimi. Yeah. Great job, everyone! Now Mimi is safe and sound on the ground. Huh? Go ahead and join them, Olette. <laughs> Have fun, guys! <laughs> Can I get a high five? Yay! Okay! <laughs> There's Hoopa! And it's his birthday today! Hey, Hoopa! Happy birthday! <laughs> hey! <laughs> so, you're having your party at Moo's house, huh? Whoa! That cake smells delicious, Moo! <laughs> Hang on, guys! Hoopa needs to make a wish and blow out the candles before you eat the cake. Uh, Hoopa, your cake seems to be on fire. No worries, Hoopa. All you need to do is call Firefighter Olette. Olette! Olette! Hoopa's cake is on fire! We need your help at Moose Farm to put it out! Off she goes! Olette to the rescue! Quick as you can, Olette! Don't worry, guys! Olette will have the fire out in no time! Uh-oh! Is your hose broken, Olette? Oh no! It looks like there's a leak in your hose! No worries, Olette! It's Dr. Panda Toto time! We'll help you think of another way to put out that fire! Olette needs to find something to use to put water on the fire. Can you help her choose what she should use? Awesome! Let's get choosing! Okay, guys, let's see what Olette could use to put water onto the fire. She could try a teacup. Cup. Or a bucket. Uh-oh, I think Mr. Mouse was trying to finish his bath. Sorry, Mr. Mouse. Or a pancake. Or a tuba. Okay, so should Olette use the cup, the bucket, the pancake, or the tuba. 
Yep, that's right! Olette needs the bucket to put water onto the fire! <laughs> I don't think you're going to be able to eat your birthday cake after all, Hoopa. Uh -huh. Oh, hey, I know. Why don't you go out for ice cream instead? Oh, yeah, and I bet yeah, Olette yeah. will take you all in her fire engine as a birthday treat. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy your ice cream, guys. Ah! Hi, Bip. Hi, May May. Some tricks, Bip! <laughs> oh, watch out, little squirrel! Whoa. Watch out, Bip! <laughs> Ouch! Bip, are you okay? Uh-oh, it looks like Bip has hurt himself. No worries, Mimi. All you need to do is call Olette and she'll come to the rescue. <laughs> Olette! Maymay's calling! There's an emergency! Bip has had an accident in the park! You need to get going right away! Ah! Hurry, Olette! Oh, here's Olette to the rescue! Ah! Hmm, it looks like Bip might have a broken bone. You'd better get him to the hospital, Olette! Don't worry, May May. You can visit Bip in hospital later. You'd better look after his skateboard for him, too. Did Bip need an x-ray to see what's wrong, Olette? Oh, I see. That x-ray shows Bip's leg before he fell over, and that one shows his leg now. Now all you have to do is figure out which bone is broken, and then you can put a cast on it. Would you like us to help you spot the broken bone? Mm-hmm. No worries, Alette. It's Dr. Panda Toto time. We'll help you. Can you help Alette see which bone Bip has broken? Awesome. Let's take a look. Okay, first, let's take a look at the x-ray of Bip's leg from before he fell over in the park. Uh, so the foot bone is connected to the leg bone, the leg bone's connected to the knee bone, and the knee bone is connected to the thigh bone, huh? And here's the x-ray from after he fell over. Hmm, can you spot the difference between the first x-ray and the second? You got it! Do you remember the name of this bone? Bip has broken his leg bone. Awesome! Bip's leg will mend quickly now that he's got a cast on it. Great job, Olette! Don't watch out, Mimi! We don't want another broken bone around here. Ah, oh, don't worry, Bip. Your leg will soon be mended. <gasps> wow, look at that! Now you've got the coolest cast in the hospital! <laughs> it doesn't look like a broken leg is going to slow Bip down. <laughs> Hey there, Leo! It's a lovely day for a walk, isn't it? Mm -hmm. oh. Huh? Are you taking pictures of the clouds, Leo? Mm -mm. <gasps> Whoa! An eagle! That's beautiful! Look at it fly! Fly! I can see why you'd want to take a photo of it, Leo. Mm. It's awesome! There it is, Leo! See if you can get a good shot. Hey, Leo! Don't forget to look where you're going! Uh, Leo? Hang on tight! Call Olette to come and rescue you! Olette will soon get you off the mountainside! Quick, Olette! Leo needs your help! He's stuck on the side of the mountain! 
Hmm. Huh? Which one are you going to use to rescue Leo? Uh... No worries, Alette. It's Dr. Panda Toto time! Yay! We can help you choose what to use. Can you help Olette decide what to use to rescue Leo? Awesome! Let's get choosing! Okay, let's see. Should Olette use the bicycle? Or should she use the ambulance? Wait, wait, wait. Or the helicopter? Okay, guys, should Olette use the bicycle, the ambulance, or the helicopter? Yep, you got it! Olette needs to use the helicopter to go and rescue Leo from the mountainside. Oh, great flying, Olette! Fly! Here's Olette to rescue you, Leo! Wow, what a cool photo that's going to be, Leo! Awesome job, Olette! You rescued Leo from the mountainside and helped him get an amazing Yay! photo of the eagle, too! Wow! Hi, Olette! You sure are a real hero helping so many lives every day! All that your firefighter costume is missing is a superhero <laughs> cape! Looks like someone needs your help! Olette to the rescue! Call them out around the world, the real rescue heroes! Call for help and shout out for the real rescue people! They're coming, they're coming, running, Running, jumping, and diving, flying, and driving, trying to help and save the world. Call them out around the world, the real rescue heroes. They're for you and they're for me, the real rescue people. They're coming, they're coming, running, running, jumping, and so she can go to the farmer's market today. <gasps> and here comes Olette. She needs that wing mirror fixed in a hurry in case she needs to go to an emergency. And Bip needs his cart to be in perfect shape. He's racing this afternoon. Uh-oh, Hoopa. All the jobs are urgent. But you're too tired to work quickly. How are you going to get them all done? What you need is someone to help you do the work. Yay! Hey, it looks like Hoopa's had an idea. What's that, Hoopa? Have you invented something to help you do the work? Whoa, that looks awesome, Hoopa. You've designed your own robot to help you. <gasps> Wow! Why don't we go out to your junkyard and see if we can find all the parts you need to make it? Would you like some help finding the parts you need to make your robot? No worries, Hoopa! 
It's Dr. Panda Toto time! Uh, yay! Will you help Hoopa find the parts he needs to make his robot? Awesome! Let's get started! Okay, let's see. First of all, we need something to use for the head. It looks a bit like a triangle. Can you spot the right object? That's perfect, Hoopa! Now, let's look for the next part of your robot. Okay, let's see if we can spot this round shape. Yep, there it is! Great job! Now there's just one more part to find and then Hoopa can get building! Okay, guys, let's find the last shape we're looking for. It looks like a rectangle! Yep, you got it! Now Hoopa has everything he needs to make his robot helper! Oop, careful there, Hoopa! Ready, steady, build! Uh, Hoopa, shouldn't you be working? Hey! Wow, Hoopa! Great job! Sleep well, Hoopa! Aw, poor Hoopa! Awesome! Can I get a high five? Yay! Okay! <laughs> hey there, Moo! What an exciting day! I can't wait to see Hoopa's new invention to make your apples grow bigger! Oh, here he is! Hey, Hoopa! Is that the Hoopatron? Wow, it looks amazing! Whoa, that's awesome! So the big button makes things bigger, and the small button makes things smaller, is that right? <laughs> okay, let's see it in action! Wow, Hoopa! Look at the size of that apple! Wow! Uh-oh! Oh no! Where have Hoopa and Moo gone? Oh, there you are! Yeah. Don't worry, Hoopa! It's just an ant! <gasps> Look, these insects are wondering what kind of insect you are. <laughs> hmm, maybe one of these insects could take you to the Hoopatron so you can get back to your normal size. <laughs> well, you're going to need to fly to the Hoopatron because it's far away and, and really high up. So, which insect would be best for the job? No worries, it's Dr. Panda Toto time! We'll help you decide who to ask! Can you help Moo and Hoopa decide which insect to ask for help? Let's see... Should Hoopa and Moo ask the ant to carry them? Or the snail? Or the butterfly? Butterfly! You're right! Hoopa and Moo should ask the butterfly to take them to the Hoopatron. The butterfly can fly there! <laughs> wow! What an adventure! Thanks for helping, Butterfly! Hmm? Uh, Hoopa, I think Moo's chicken needs to go back to normal size, too. <laughs> hey there, Hoopa! You're moving some stuff for Leo today, aren't you? It's a lovely day for a drive. Uh-oh! Oh no, Hoopa! You've got a oh. flat tire! Hmm, looks like you're going to have to find another way to get Leo's stuff to his cabin. 
You can't move the truck, Hoopa. It's way too heavy. Wow! You changed your truck into a flying machine! Awesome, Hoopa! Let's see it fly! Flying to Leo's cabin is going to be fun! Ah, what an awesome view! Uh, Hoopa! Hoopa! You need to fly higher to go up and over the tree! Looks like your flying machine can't go any higher! No worries! It's Dr. Panda Toto time! Yay! All we need to do is choose something to throw out of the machine to make it lighter! Hoopa needs to throw out the heaviest object so the machine will become lighter and fly higher! Can you help Hoopa decide which object is the heaviest? Okay, great! Let's go! Is the bucket the heaviest object? Or the rubber ducky? Or the anchor? Yep, you got it! Hoopa needs to throw out the anchor to make his flying machine lighter. Quickly, Hoopa! Hoopa. All you have to do now is land your machine safely on the ground. Uh-oh. That sounds like engine trouble. Whew. That was a close one, Hoopa. But you did it! You delivered Leo's stuff safely to his cabin. Hey! Um, or on his cabin. <laughs> Looks like you're having a light supper, guys. Did you manage to get everything moved off the roof? No. Aw, the baby birds have their own bath now. Awesome. <laughs> Aw. Hey there, Hoopa. Have you been tinkering with your Hoopatron again? What does it do now? That looks like a speedometer. It shows you speed. The higher the number, the faster you go. Whoa! Your Hoopatrons made that snail super speedy! Can your Hoopatron make things go slower too? <laughs> I don't think that snail wants to go slowly again, Hoopa! Ooh, look! Pizza delivery! What's the matter, Hoopa? Has it gone cold? No worries, Hoopa! Bip can go and get you a fresh, hot pizza! Hey, Bip! Do you want Hoopa to make you go super fast with his Hoopatron? Okay, here it goes! How are you feeling, Bip? Whoa! Wow, that really was fast! You've got another pizza order! Ziggy wants a pizza! Uh, I would be careful using that speeding machine again, Bip. You don't want to go too fast. Maybe we should follow Bip and make sure he doesn't run into trouble, Hoopa. Watch out, Ziggy! Here comes Bip's pizza delivery! Stop! Hoopa, you and Ziggy can drive after him in Ziggy's car! Follow that pizza! Hoopa and Ziggy need to reach Bip. Bip's speed is 80. Ziggy is going 50. Who is going faster? Bip, Bip. That's right! Bip, 
because 80 is more than 50. So Ziggy needs to drive faster to reach Bip. Step on it, Ziggy! Ziggy's speed went up to 100. Now who's going faster? Ziggy, that's right! Quick, guys! Use Hoopa's Hoopatron to make Bip slow down! Great! I guess you've had enough of being fast for today, huh, Bip? Is it still hot, Ziggy? Just remember that it's best to eat your food slowly. <laughs> Do you know what an opposite is? Let's find out! Every hammer needs a nail Every tool is big or small How do you know which one you need? Well, you simply need them all Every off goes on Every out goes in How do you know if something's sick If you don't have anything thin? Every night needs a beautiful day When the sun will shine Or clouds bring rain Wet, dry, hot or cold that's how opposites work We know We sure do Every up needs a down Every fast has a slow How do we know just when to stop If we don't know how to go Every left has a right There is silver or gold How do you know if something's new If you don't have anything old Every smile makes us happy and glad But every tear can sure make us sad Laugh, cry, open or close That's how opposites work, we know! <laughs> every hammer needs a nail Every tool is big or small How do we know which one you need? Well, you simply need them all On and off, in and out New and old, hot and cold That's how opposites work, we know That's how opposites work, we know! Hey there, Leo! What an awesome collection of souvenirs from all your travels you have! <laughs> Bless you, Leo! That's one beautiful feather, Leo! Why don't you show everyone where it came from? Brazil! In South America! Shall we tell the story of how you got that feather? Yep, I remember. It all started when you were on your boat in the Brazilian rainforest. Baby Parrot thinks you're its mommy, Leo. Hmm, maybe you'd better try and find its real mommy, Leo. Would you like some help to find her? Can you help Leo find the Baby Parrot's mother? <laughs> awesome! Let's get searching! The Baby Parrot's mother will be red, like its baby. Ooh, there's something red over there. Could that be the baby's mother? <laughs> nope, parrots fly. They don't jump. Those are frogs. We'll have to keep looking. Oh, look! Something up in the trees can fly. Does that look like a parrot's tail? Could this be our missing mommy? <laughs> nope, that's not a parrot. That's a monkey! Monkey! <laughs> now that you've got your binoculars back, Leo, we'd better keep looking for the mommy parrot! What's that behind those bushes? Ooh. Do parrots have ears like that? It's definitely not a parrot! That's a jaguar! I think it might be a good time to run! Ah, <sighs> finding baby parrot's mom sure is hard, isn't it, Leo? Oh, bless you! Hey, Leo, what's that? Do you think that could be the baby parrot's mommy? Yeah, 
Yes, here she is! Aw, oh, look, Leo. You have a new souvenir that'll help you remember the day. <laughs> that was an awesome adventure, Leo. Maybe we can tell everyone about another adventure from your travels next time. <laughs> bye bye Ahoy there, Leo! Awesome hat! That used to belong to Pirate Ratbeard, didn't it? Oh, what's that? A treasure map! Treasure! It must have been Pirate Ratbeard's! Ooh, I think it's time for a treasure hunt, don't you? Um, Leo, would you like some help reading the treasure map? No worries, Leo! It's Dr. Panda Toto time! Can you help Leo read the treasure map? Awesome! Let's find that treasure! Let's see which direction Leo needs to go first. Hmm, Leo needs to head toward that big rock. But does Leo need to go left, right, or straight ahead? Yes! He needs to go left! Don't worry, Leo. That's not a real crocodile. It's just a big rock that's shaped like one. Let's take a look on the map to see which way we need to go. We need to head to the parrots next. Does Leo need to go left, right, or straight ahead to get to where the parrots live? You got it! Leo needs to go straight ahead to find the parrots! Leo needs to head to the pirate ship! Now which way does Leo have to go? Left, right, or straight ahead? That's right! He has to go right! Right! Right? Right, 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 right. Phew, it's a bit quieter here. Okay, now where's the spot you have to dig? That's right, X marks the spot. Time to get digging. Oh, I think you've hit treasure, Leo. Jeez! Hey, that's great treasure, Leo. You must be hungry after all that treasure hunting. <laughs> awesome! Can I get a high five? Yay! Okay. <laughs> hey there, Leo. Your friend Mr. Penguin looks a bit sad and really hot. Do you want to go home, Mr. Penguin? You live in Antarctica? I bet it's really cold there. Leo's going to take you home, Mr. Penguin. Let's go on an Arctic adventure. Hmm, I don't see any penguins anywhere. No worries, Leo. It's Dr. Panda Toto time. We'll help you find Mr. Penguin's family. Can you help Leo find Mr. Penguin's family? Awesome. Okay, if we can't see Mr. Penguin's family, maybe we can hear them. Let's start listening. Oh, does that sound like Penguin? Nope, those are arctic terns, not penguins. Boys, do you think that could be Mr. Penguin's family? Uh-oh, that's not a penguin, that's a whale! Phew, 
Huh. Maybe you should try looking for Mr. Penguin's family on land now, Leo. Hmm. Does that sound like a penguin? Uh, Leo, where are you going? Mr. Penguin says it's not his family. Uh-oh! Watch out for that water! It's freezing cold! Phew! That was close! <laughs> Looks like that tickles, Leo! Hmm, we still haven't found Mr. Penguin's family. What's that? Could that be the sound of Mr. Penguin's family? Aw, that noise was Mr. Penguin's family. He's really happy to be home. Good job, Leo. Uh-oh, are you starting to feel cold, Leo? Wow, Leo, that's a warm welcome. Have fun hanging out with Mr. Penguin's family. Hey there, Leo. Where are you off to today? Whoa, you're going to the Sahara Desert in Africa. Oh, I see. You're going to take some photos. Awesome. Let's go on an adventure. I see. You want to take photos of a desert fox, a scorpion, a scarab beetle, and a gerboa. A gerboa is like a desert mouse. It can run really fast. Uh, none of the creatures you're looking for seem to be around right now, Leo. I guess you'll have to wait. Maybe you'd better set up camp before it gets really dark. Lots of creatures in hot places sleep during the day, so now they'll be waking up. You might see what you've been looking for now. Would you like some help spotting your creatures? Can you help Leo spot the desert creatures? Awesome! <laughs> Let's get spotting! Aha! There's a creature up ahead. Hmm. Now does that shape belong to the fox? The scorpion? The scarab beetle? Or the gerboa. Fox. That's right. It's the desert fox. Okay, so does this shape belong to the scorpion, the scarab beetle, or the gerboa? Me too. Yep, it's the scarab beetle. I think there's something in your tent, Leo. Don't worry, that's not the creature. It's just its shadow. So that shape is either the scorpion or the gerboa. Ooh, scorpion. Yep, you got it. It's the scorpion. Better stand back, Leo. Those guys can sting. Now there's just one more to spot. I think we know what this one is. Jibawa. That's right! The last creature on your list, the Jerboa. Now you have photos of all the creatures on your list, Leo. Good job! Uh-oh, looks like your batteries have run out, Leo. Ooh. You don't have to be afraid, Leo. You're not alone. From the north to the south, east to west, where I do the animals like the best. From the north to the south, east to west, I know the places that I like the best. The Amazon jungle where the rain is warm, home to the monkeys and the tropical storms. Winding rivers, frogs and macaws, listen to the parrots going squawk, squawk, squawk! <laughs> From the north to the south, east to west, 
I know the places that I like the best Sunny islands in the deep blue sea Dolphins play wild and free Swim with turtles, coconut trees Pirate treasure for you and me From the north to the south East to west, where do the animals like the best? The cold wind blows in the Arctic snow, slipping and sliding fast we go. Home to the penguins, whales and sharks, blubbery seals go ark, ark, ark. From the north to the south, east to west, I know the places that I like the best. Desert sands, golden sun, looks like the scarab beetles having fun. Hot all day, cold at night, if you see a scorpion oh. you'll get a fright. From the north to the south, east to west, where do the animals like the best? From the north to the south, east to west, I know the places that I like the best. <laughs> Morning, May May! Did you see that it snowed last night? It sure is a winter's day! Really cold! Looks like Bip and Eleven are having fun! Are you gonna go join them? May May, wait! You need warmer clothes! Uh-oh. Uh May May, are you… Okay? Snow! You look freezing, May May! Huh. You'd better get back inside to get warm! Maybe you need some warmer clothes before you go outside again. Do you want some help deciding what to wear, May May? Can you help May May decide what she needs to wear to keep warm outside? Awesome! Let's get choosing! Okay, so first of all, May May needs a hat to keep her warm. Let's see what she has. Is it the straw hat, the knitted hat, or the pirate hat? <laughs> the pirate hat is fun, but it won't keep you warm in the snow. Do you know which one she should wear? That's right! May May needs the knitted hat to keep warm! Now May May needs to choose the right kind of coat. Let's see what she has. Okay, so should May May wear the raincoat, the beach coat, or the padded jacket? Yep, she needs the padded jacket to stay warm. Let's see. Now May May needs something to keep her hands warm. Should May May wear the rubber gloves, the mittens, or the boxing gloves? <laughs> That's one brave little mouse! <laughs> but you can't use them to build a snowman. Do you know which one she should wear? Yep, she should wear the mittens! Those'll keep May May's hands warm in the snow. Now you're all ready to hit the snow, May May! Yay! That's one good-looking snowman, guys! Hmm, he looks a bit chilly, though. Huh? Where are you off to, May May? Ah, uh, that's better! Awesome work, May May! <laughs> Have fun, guys! Bye-bye! <laughs> Hey there, Mimi! You're off on a picnic with June today, aren't you? Awesome! You're all set to go! It's a perfect day for a fall picnic! Bright and breezy! Uh-oh! Better get inside, you two, or you'll get soaked! Looks like you'll have to postpone your picnic, guys! No worries! I'm sure you can find something else to do that's just as fun inside the house! Oh, looks like June's had an idea! What's that, June? An arts and crafts book? Perfect! You found something you can do inside and that can use up all the leaves that have blown in! Awesome! I wonder what that is? Daddy! Yes, Toto! 
Can you help Mei and June make a bird out of leaves? <laughs> Great! Let's go! First, we'll need to find the tail. It's a yellow oak tree leaf. Can you spot it? Yep! There it is! Yellow! Okay, so now we need to find a red maple leaf for the wings. Can you spot it? Well, that is red, but not a maple leaf, Maymay. A maple leaf is a different shape. You got it! That's the red maple leaf they need. Oops. It's looking good, guys. Now we need a green birch leaf for the head. Aww, we woke the squirrel from a nap. Oh, I guess that squirrel is awake now. That's a lot of green leaves. But remember, you need to match the color and shape. Can you see it? Yes! There it is! Good job! Now there's only one more leaf to find. An orange elm leaf for the beak. There it is! Awesome! Now all you need is a few sticks and chestnuts to finish it off. Whoa, that's a fine looking bird. And I think it stopped raining too, though it's still windy. Shame you haven't got a kite. Awesome! Your leaf bird makes a beautiful kite! Fun! Yep, have fun, guys! Bye bye <laughs> Morning, Mamie! Morning, Alette! What a beautiful spring day it is! Your garden looks awesome, Alette! How did you grow all those flowers? So first, you dig a hole. And then you plant the seeds. Then you cover the seeds with soil, water them, and wait for them to grow. Thanks, Alette. We'll see you soon. Ah, don't you just love springtime, Maymay? All the colorful flowers everywhere. Hmm, your garden isn't quite as colorful as Olette's garden, is it? Maybe you should plant some flowers too, Maymay. You recorded everything you need to do on your phone, right? Uh-oh, looks like your phone has run out of battery. Do you need some help remembering what to do, Maymay? Can you help Mei remember how to plant some flowers? Great! Let's start! Okay, so what does Mei need to do first? Yep, that's right! Mei needs to dig a hole to put her seeds in! Uh, Mei Mei? <gasps> Dinosaur! Wow, Mei Mei! Good find! But I don't think the hole needs to be that deep. Let's see, what's the next thing Mei Mei needs to do? <laughs> That's right! She needs to put the seeds in the hole! Good work! Now, what's the next step of growing flowers? <laughs> yep, she needs to cover up those seeds with some soil! Uh, Mei Mei? Aren't you forgetting something? What do the flowers need now? Water! <laughs> That's right! They need water as well as some lovely spring sunshine to grow! You're all done! Now all you have to do is wait! It takes a bit longer than that, Mamie. Have you come to check on your flowers? Look, Mimi, your flowers look beautiful. Flowers. Are you going to water them? 
Oh, never mind, May May. Oh, let's help you out. <laughs> Enjoy your awesome garden, May May. Bye. Hey there, May May. Are you getting ready for your trip to the beach with Olette? Well, it's a perfect summer's day. Nice and hot. Oh, don't forget your sun cream. There's Olette. Better hurry, May May. That bag looks pretty heavy. Are you sure you need everything in there? Ready to go? Uh-oh, looks like May May's forgotten something. Wow, you brought more stuff. There, all set. Huh? She's still not ready. Whoa, you sure are bringing a lot of stuff. I think Maymay's finally ready to go, Let's Go! It's beach time! Uh-oh, I think the car is too overloaded to make it up the hill. Uh, Maymay, I think you packed way too many things for your beach trip. You even brought stuff you don't need at the beach. No worries, Maymay. Do you want some help deciding what to bring and what to leave behind? Can you help Maymay decide what she doesn't need at the beach? Awesome! Let's get choosing! Which of these things should Maymay leave behind? The surfboard, the ice skates, or the beach parasol? Yep, you got it! Maymay should leave the ice skates behind. Okay, now, should May May leave behind the flip-flops, the padded jacket, or the sunglasses? That's right! She should leave behind the padded jacket. <laughs> it's way too hot for that. Okay, last one. Should May May leave behind the beach ball, the mittens, or the inflatable duck? Great job! May May should leave the mittens behind. They don't belong on the beach. Awesome work, guys! Now Olette and May May can go and have fun at the beach. Beach, beach. Olette's going in for a refreshing dip. Are you not going in too, May May? May May? Oh. <laughs> Looks like May May's tired out from moving all her stuff. <laughs> Can I get a high five? Yay! Okay. Every season has a reason for the sunshine and the rain. Spring and summer, fall and winter all come round again. Spring comes first, life begins to burst. Put away your jumpers, hear singing birds. <laughs> Every season has a reason for the sunshine and the rain. Spring and summer, fall and winter all come round again. Summer sun, it's the beach for everyone. Grab your hats and caps, it's the season of fun. <laughs> Every season has a reason for the sunshine and the rain. Spring and summer, fall and winter all come round again. Autumn is my favorite, with leaves of red and gold. Don't know what to wear, cause it could be warm or cold. Every season has a reason for the sunshine and the rain. Spring and summer, fall and winter all come round again. Winter brings the beautiful snow. Time to get your sledges out and go, go, go! Every season has a reason for the sunshine and the rain. Spring and summer, fall and winter all come round again. Every season has a reason for the sunshine and the rain. Spring and summer, fall and winter all comes round again. Yeah! Hey there, Mimi! Are you taking the bus to your dance class today? 
Mimi? Mimi. Me. <laughs> I don't think she can hear us, Toto. Hi there, Bip. <laughs> well, I'm afraid she hasn't noticed you, Bip. Beep, beep, go! Here we go! Off to Mei Mei's dance lesson! Awesome! Now we can all enjoy your music, Mei Mei! Uh-huh, yeah! It's nice to see you enjoying the music, but you need to pay attention to the road. Here we are! Mei Mei's dancing school! No, no. Whoa! Bip! Bip! Slow down! You totally missed Mei Mei stop! You weren't paying attention! You need to keep your eyes on the road, Bip! You better find somewhere you can turn around! Uh-oh, your bus looks pretty stuck, Bip. How will you get Mei Mei to her dancing lesson now? No worries, Bip. I've got an idea. I'll go and ask Hoopa for help. Hoopa! Hoopa! Wake up! Quick, Hoopa! You need to go and help Bip! His bus is stuck in a ditch just outside of town. Awesome! One of these will definitely help get Bip's bus out. Hmm, Hoopa can't decide which one to use. Can you help him decide which of these would be best to pull the bus out of the hole? Let's take a look. Should he use the forklift truck? Or the bulldozer? Or the tow truck? Or the limousine? So, should Hoopa use the forklift truck, the bulldozer, the tow truck, or the limo? Yep, you got it! The tow truck! Truck! Hoopa can use its hook and chain to pull the bus out of the ditch! No worries, Bip! Hoopa is on his way! Your bus is back on the road. But where did Mei Mei go? <laughs> Looks like Mei Mei prefers to take the limo instead of the bus. See you next time, everyone. <laughs> bye bye Hey there, Bip. I see you're driving the number eight bus today. That's your lucky number, isn't it? Whoa, Bip! That was a pretty big puddle of mud. Uh-oh, Bip! Your bus is so dirty that people don't want to get on it. You'd better get it cleaned up before your next stop. No worries, Bip! Head down to Hoopa's car wash and your bus will be cleaned up in no time. Yay! Car wash, car wash! Hi there, Hoopa! Bip needs to use your car wash to clean his bus. Oh, what's wrong, Hoopa? Can't you remember how to operate the car wash? No worries. Just check the instruction manual. Each button starts a different part of the car wash. The triangle starts the water. The square starts the soap. And the circle starts the brushes. All Hoopa needs to do is push the buttons in the right order. Then Bip's bus will be sparkling clean again. Can you help Hoopa remember the right order for the buttons? Let's go through it one more time. First, he needs to press the triangle. Then the square. Then the circle. And then the triangle again. 
first we need water. So, which button do we need to press first? The triangle, square, or the circle? Triangle. That's right! Push it, Hoopa! Now we need to cover the bus in soap. Which button does Hoopa need to press next? Square. That's right! Now we need to scrub off all the mud with the brushes. Okay, so which button was for the brushes? Circle. Push it, Hoopa! Hey, Bip, maybe you should close your wind. No. Oops. There's just one last button Hoopa needs to push mm -hmm. to finish cleaning Bip's bus. Do you remember which button Hoopa needs to press? Triangle. Uh, Bip, you might want to close that window now. The water is coming. Awesome job, Hoopa! You've made Bip's bus all clean again. But we might still have a problem. Bip left the window open and, and all the water came inside. No worries, Bip! I'm sure Hoopa has a great machine to help you dry your bus. A hair dryer! Good thinking, Hoopa! Hiya, Bip! Aren't you driving the bus today? Uh, you are? Hmm, that's a pretty bad traffic jam. I guess no one's moving right now. <laughs> Looks like your chickens are tired of sitting in their seats, Moo. They want to play. can do to pass the time? We can play I Spy with My Little Eye. Yee-hee! I spy! Hmm? I spy with my little eye! It's a great game to play when you're stuck in traffic. Do you want to play I Spy with My Little Eye with us? Awesome! It's really easy to play. Let me show you. I say I spy with my little eye something with the color blue. And then you have to guess what that blue thing is. Sky! That's right, Toto. I was looking at the sky. Awesome. <laughs> Let's play. Okay, here we go. I spy with my little eye something red. Blue! That's right, Toto! That ball is red! Oops! <laughs> we're moving! Nope, we're stuck again. Moo! No worries, Moo! We can play another game of I Spy! <laughs> I spy with my little eye something green! <laughs> I'm spying something with my little eye very close to me. Toto! <laughs> yes, Toto! It's you! You're something green! Yay! <laughs> hey, look, guys! We're moving again! Uh-oh! Stuck again! Hey, where did Moo go? <laughs> Good thinking, Moo. Sometimes it's better to take a walk. <laughs> no worries, Ziggy. I know a game we can play. Yay, I spy, I spy. Can I get a high five? Yay! Okay. Hey, 
Hey there, Bip! Where are you off to today? Oh, I see. You're taking Leo home. Oh, that ice cream looks good, Leo. Huh? What's that? Uh-oh. The bus is almost out of fuel, Bip. You need to get to a gas station fast. Oh, no. It's too late. You're out of fuel, Bip. Too bad about your ice cream, Leo. But how will you get home now? What do you see, Bip? Looks like good news. It is good news. That's Richie's gas station, and it's just down the road. Hmm, do you think you can push the bus to the station? Let's cheer Bip and Leo on and shout, push! Ready, steady, push! <laughs> yes, you did it! Whoa! <laughs> Oh, hey there, Richie. Can you fill up Bip's bus, please? Okay, it's Dr. Panda Toto time. Bip's bus needs 10 liters of fuel to fill it up. Can you help us count the numbers on the pump until it gets to 10? Let's start counting. One, two, three, four, five, six. Is the tank full already? Nope, the tank needs 10 liters to be full. Keep pumping, Richie. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome! The tank is full! Now we just need to go inside and pay for the fuel. <laughs> okay, Richie, how much do we need to pay for the fuel? Great! We need to pay Richie eight panda dollars. Bip has a ten dollar note, but Bip only needs to pay Richie eight. So, how many dollars does Richie need to give Bip back? Two! Wow, Toto, you're so smart! Because 10 minus 8 equals 2. Richie needs to give Bip $2 back. Good job, guys! And now it's time to drive Leo home! Guess you don't need to go home just yet, huh, Leo? Enjoy your ice creams, guys! The wheels on Bip's bus go round and round Round and round, round and round The wheels on Bip's bus go round and round All through the town The wipers on Bip's bus go swish, swish, swish Swish, 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 swish The wipers on Bip's bus go swish, swish, swish All through the town The horn on Bip's bus goes beep, beep, beep Beep, 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 beep The horn on Bip's bus goes beep, beep, beep All through the town Hoopa on Bip's bus goes up yeah. and down The wheels.
Bells on Bips bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on Bips bus go round and round, all through the town, all through the town. <laughs> hey there, Rolette. Are you waiting for the right time to leave the station? And you're doing a puzzle while you're waiting. Awesome! Hey, what a cool puzzle! Nice work, Olette! It's time to get going, Olette! <laughs> Olette, what's going on? Ah. Hey there, Hoopa. Oh, I see. You haven't finished fixing the track. <laughs> Are you having trouble figuring out which train track pieces come next? <laughs> no worries, Hoopa. It's Dr. Panda Toto time. Can you help Hoopa decide which piece comes next? Let's have a look. Let's see now. The train track has three gaps in it. It's like a jigsaw puzzle. Puzzle. We just need to select the right track piece for each gap so Hoopa can connect the tracks together. So for this gap, we can either use a straight piece, a piece that turns left, or a piece that turns right. Which piece does Hoopa need to put down first? Straight. That's right! The straight piece! Uh-oh! Here's the next gap in the track! Now, which piece does Hoopa need to put down to connect the tracks? Oh, you are so smart! Yeah, we need the piece that goes to the left! Okay, there's just one more missing piece of track. Which piece can we use here? <laughs> you got it! We need the piece that goes to the right! Awesome! Now the track is complete and Olette can get the train to the station. On to the next stop! What's going on, Olette? Why have you stopped the train again? <laughs> Looks like that's gonna take a while. <laughs> See you next time, everyone! Hi there, Mei Mei! Phew, it sure is hot today. Where are you traveling to? The swimming pool! What an awesome way to cool off! Do you know how to get there? Can we take a look at your train route map? Okay, so here we are at Panda Station. And Mei Mei needs to go to Panda Pool. Can you spot Panda Pool Station? That's right! <laughs> it's almost like a puzzle. Can you help us solve it? Let's see, Mei Mei needs to take the red line train for one, two, three stops. At the windmill station, she needs to switch to the blue line train. Then Mei Mei needs to take the blue line train for one, two stops to get to Panda Pool Station. So, all you need to do is follow this train map. Look, Mei Mei, the red train has arrived! <laughs> Better get on board! Okay, Mei Mei, why don't we take one more look at your map to make sure we switch trains at the right station? Ah! Oh no, Mei Mei! Your map! Quick, get it! Aw, oh, 
no, it's gone. Look, Maymay, Olette has a map. Do you remember the way to the swimming pool? <laughs> no worries, Maymay. It's Dr. Panda Toto time. Can you help Maymay count the stops to the swimming pool? Let's get counting. We need to stay on the red line for three stops until we get to Windmill Station. Then we need to switch to the blue line. Here we are at the first stop. Oh, here we go. Off again. Here's the second stop. This is stop number... Three! That's right, Toto! This is stop number three! The third stop! Time to switch to the blue line, Maymay! All right, Maymay! This is the blue line, and we need to take it for two stops! <coughs> oh, here we are at the first stop! And this is the second stop. Pool, pool. Yes! Here you are, Mamie. Panda pool. Have fun at the pool. Huh? The pool is closed. <gasps> Where are you going, Mamie? <laughs> You can always go for a swim at the beach. Have an awesome time, Maymay. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Today, Olette is riding the freight train. Choo-choo. Let's take a look at what she needs to deliver. Hi there, Olette. So, what do you have to deliver today? Let's see. The first cargo load is... A pile of bricks! And the second cargo load is... Watermelons! Yum, yum! And the last cargo load is... Uh... Rubber duckies? <laughs> quack, quack! So who ordered all these things? Ah, so the bricks are for Hoopa! The watermelons are for Richie, and the rubber duckies are for Moo. Awesome! Let's get all this stuff delivered. <laughs> what? What's the matter, Olette? Uh-oh, that doesn't look good. How will you know who to deliver your cargo to now? No worries, Olette. It's Dr. Panda Toto time. Can you help Olette find out who ordered which item? Awesome. First stop, Hoopa's construction site. Can you tell which cargo is meant for Hoopa? The bricks, the watermelons, or the rubber duckies? Ducky, ducky. <laughs> Well, I'm sure Hoopa would love all those duckies, but they won't help him build a house. Yep, that's right. It's the bricks. All right, that's one happy customer. Here we are at the next stop, Richie's Supermarket. Now, which cargo do you think Richie ordered? The watermelons or the rubber duckies? <laughs> yep, you got it. The watermelons. He must be having a watermelon sale at his supermarket this weekend. Whoops, are you all right, Richie? Huh, <laughs> another happy customer. Next stop, Moose Farm. Now the only cargo left is all these rubber duckies, so they must be yours. Here you go, Moo. Ducky! What are you going to do with all those rubber duckies, Moo? Huh? 
You didn't order them. Oh. Well, then who did? <laughs> Looks like your chickens have been doing some shopping, Mill. Hmm. I wonder what else your chickens have ordered. <laughs> Another happy customer, Alette. Bye bye, Mill. Bye, chicks. Today, Olette's working at the Panda City train station, making sure all the trains leave on time. Choo-choo! <laughs> Let's go see how she's doing! Hi there, Olette! Oh, looks like there's a storm coming. What time is the train leaving, Olette? Clock, tick, tock, tick, tock. <laughs> it's five o'clock. Whoa! Oh no! The lightning bolt hit the clock and broke it. Uh, don't worry, Olette. Hoopa can fix anything. Oh, careful there, Hoopa. Uh-oh, the clock isn't showing the right time. Now you won't know when the trains have to leave. You need to reset it. No worries, Olette. It's Dr. Panda Toto time. We'll help you reset the clock. So, what time do we need to reset the clock to? It is six o'clock. Six. We have to reset the clock to six o'clock. Can you help Olette reset the clock? Let's get started. The big hand shows the minutes on the clock. And the small hand shows the hours on the clock. When the big hand points to the number 12 and the small hand points to the number 1, it means it's 1 o'clock. Olette needs to move the small hand around the clock to set it to 6 o'clock. Let's get counting. So. Now it's two o'clock. Two. And this is three o'clock. Three. And that's four o'clock. Four. And five o'clock. <laughs> five. And here we are, six o'clock. Six, yay. Great job, guys. The clock's reset to the correct time. The clock's working perfectly again. <laughs> well, it's almost perfect. <laughs> See you next time, Olette. Bye. Can I get a high five? Yay! Okay. <laughs> It's a beautiful day, Olette's on her train Wait to hear the whistle blow and we'll be on our way Oh, the train on the track goes clickety-clack When the signal shows The train on the track goes clickety-clack When the whistle blows It's a beautiful day, Olette drives her train Riding through the countryside, everybody wave. Oh, the train on the track goes clickety-clack. Give the bell a ring. The train on the track goes clickety-clack. When the bell goes ding, ding, ding. Chucka, 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 woo-woo. Chucka, 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 woo-woo. Clickety, clickety, clack, clack, clack. The train sings along the track. Yes, it does. Everyone sitting comfortably? Okay. It's a beautiful day. <gasps> oh, let wakey wake. We're nearly there. Put on those brakes that squeak and squeal. Okay. Oh, the train on the track goes clickety clack. It's been a lovely ride. The 
the train on the track goes clickety clack. It's time to say goodbye. Bye. Chaka chaka woo woo. <laughs> Hi there. Stick around for more Toto Time episodes and be sure to subscribe to our channel. <laughs>